Hello everyone. We think Wufu is a mega easy and fast tool to use to create solid, helpful forms. So we figured it would be really great to see if we could create a form in five minutes or less. I'm going to create an online donation form like so many of the non-profits out there. I'll set up email notifications to myself so I can get an email each time someone fills out the form. And I'll set up payments so that I can actually accept those donations. I'll then create a report so we can see all of the entries in a customized report. All in less than five minutes. Don't blink or you'll miss something. And I'll start the timer now. So I'll click the new form tab to get started. And immediately I'm gonna go and change the name of the form to the charity donation form. And I'm not that bothered about description, so I'll get rid of that. And it's on to adding fields. This is just a simple charity donation form. So I'll ask for the normal bits and bobs, a name, email, address, and then I'll ask a multiple choice question, a little price field for custom donations, and a checkbox field as well. And we'll get to that in a minute. So I'll make that name field a required one because I want to know exactly who's making the donation. And down here for the multiple choice, I'll say, uh, how much do you want to, how much would you want to donate for us? And I'll give them the, the standard 5, 10, and I'll go right up to 100. And that way we can let our users pick whatever they want to donate and even just below that we've got our price field which will then allow for anyone that kind of wants to donate a custom amount. We don't want to make these ones required either because maybe a user doesn't want to donate 5, 10, 15 but they want to put in their own amount. For the checkbox field we'll add a couple of options we don't need that third and we'll, we'll say do you want to make your donation form anonymous? And for the second one, you know, maybe they want to be on our email list. So we'll, we'll put that in there. And that's really it for our form. We're sorted there. You see, we've got everything we need. And I'll even add a little custom confirmation option here that says, thanks for, thanks for your donation. So once, once the user's done with the form, they'll get that little message at the end. All sorted. And I'll go on to make my notifications. Immediately, I'm going to put in my email address and set the reply email to the email field that I have in the form. And that's that done now. So I'll get email notifications for every entry that comes through. Now, all I've really got to do is add the payments. So I've got the Stripe merchant here. There's loads of others to choose from, but I'll connect with Stripe. And I already have my own Stripe account integrated here, but you can always add your own there. So that's sorted. And I'm on to now the little payment option. So I'll choose to have a running total, which will show the user exactly what they owe throughout the form. And I'll also pre-populate their billing with whatever they put into the fields on the form. And so it's on to really assigning the prices now. And that's re really simple. I just click in the assign prices and I can set my prices to exactly what they are on the form. And I'll also assign my price field, which will allow a custom donation on there as well. Three minutes in, and we're almost done. So I'll save that, and go back to the forms page, and now I can just test it out, just to show you how it looks. So we've got a really standard form. I'll put in my name, Wufu, and maybe I'll want to donate $20, and have a little custom amount. You can see that running total showing up there as well. And I'll make this anonymous. And it brings me right over to the payment page. And I'll be able to pay there. And I'm all sorted. All we need to do now is create a report. So I'll click the reports tab at the top. And then click to create a new report. And then give that report a new name. And what I'll also do when I've named that is allow the users to export the data. And then I can just select my data to make sure it's coming from the correct form. And I'm on my way to adding widgets. Initially, I'm going to add this data grid form, which is sort of like an Excel spreadsheet. It will show all of the entries and every single piece of data that goes along with it. I'll make sure to choose all columns for that. And then I'll add a graph widget, which will show for a specific field. I'm going to make this a pie chart, basically. Make it a wee bit bigger so it's not proper small. And choose the field about how much I, you would like to donate. And I'll give that a quick name. And then that is sorted basically. And what that will do is 
pull all the data from that field and show it in a graph. So I'm finished with that and I'll come back and I've made a different report about this earlier so that I could get the data as well. Show that up, it's the exact same report but with actual data in it. So there it is, there's the report, it's sorted and we've created a form in less than five minutes. Great. Mm -hmm.